hello and welcome to this video tutorial this is going to be a cake php tutorial um now i still i thought of um, taking the whole cake php thing from scratch um again the reason is uh, that i'm no more working with windows um i have shifted to ubuntu and i think this is uh, really cool and uh, at times windows um, seems to be easy but then um it's not that cool uh, i don't believe windows um, i mean once you are into ubuntu you really I can assure you, you won't go back to Windows. Uh, so, if you're a serious programmer, um, <coughs> PHP programmer, then I would highly recommend you using um, a Linux platform. It's great. So, yeah. So, we'll start off with Cake PHP. Um, now, uh, I have just uh, downloaded a Cake PHP um, 2.2.2 version and then unzip that then i've renamed it as cake php um and then this is how it looks uh, localhost slash cake php another thing that i've done is uh, i've also installed github um if you if you don't want to download cake php like this as a zip file um if you know to use github you can uh, install uh cake php using github also so um, it's quite easy I think I have I already have the file c command uh, to clone github this is a command git clone git uh, colon slash slash github dot com uh, git cake php dot uh, you know this command that you see over here is uh, exactly the one that you will find in a cake php uh, cookbook uh, this is the one that I'm talking about you can clone it um, to your into your um, WAMP directory uh, but then you have to make sure that uh, the current directory that you're talking the working directory is WAMP. So first, you have to uh, browse into www uh, into www folder. So that's actually in var www, and then from here you have to uh, you have to clone that. So uh, when you clone, you have uh, cake PHP uh, that will be placed inside this folder. So if I type in, it's saying the final uh, the destination cake PHP is already present. That's that's because I already have one inside. So if you are uh, trying to clone you would not uh, get this instead it will download all the files into your www directory so that's it um yeah uh, so we'll just close this for the time being um, and then we'll just um, go back to our browser refresh the page and over here you can see that i have a lot of issues uh, the f uh, we'll f uh, fix one by one so the first one is going to be the database configuration um it says that i don't have a database configuration okay so i'll just fix that um so i'm gonna uh, take terminal over here again and then i'm gonna type in uh, cd uh, slash var slash uh, www so my current working directory is actually www directory i'm gonna type in uh kick php slash uh, app slash console and then cake uh, dot uh, php and then i'm going to type in bake okay so actually it's not working the reason is that i don't have permission it's 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 a permission denied um <coughs> error message that i'm getting now this is one thing that annoys a lot of people uh first time users of ubuntu or uh, first time users of linux but um it's because um when you are using it for the first time you don't have uh, this kind of permission issues in, uh, in, in, in Windows but um, it's, it's, it's really easy to understand that and once you have uh, really understand that this becomes uh, this is not going to be an issue at all so what we need to do is we need to um, give um, write read and execute permission to cake.php so for that uh, the command that will give uh, change um, the permission is uh, chmod and then uh, you can type in the permission i'm going to type in 777 which is nothing but read write execute permission um, and uh, this permission is supposed to be um, executed um, to this particular file that is cake.php and then i'm going to hit ok ok so it doesn't give me an error message so I th it seems like it's working properly now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to type in the same old command that is um, cake php app console cake dot php and then bake then i'm gonna hit enter okay fine that's working so it's it's, it's asking me a uh, welcome to cake php v2.2.2 .2 .2 console and then uh, 
yeah it's giving me the application directory and then it says you your database configuration was not found take a moment to create one so yes we'll create that so the first thing is name uh, we'll put it at as as a default uh, mysql database uh, then i'm going to hit okay and it's going to be a mysql database okay it's going to be i don't want a persistent connection so i'm going to going to hit enter um my database is inside the local host so i'm going to hit enter port number i'm not sure so i uh, no user is going to be root and then the password i believe it's 1234567 and then the database name is going to be kick and i don't have a prefix so i'm going to hit n uh, table encoding it's not there so n okay uh, looks okay so uh, yes it's fine so i'm going to hit yes w do you wish to add another database configuration well no and then that's it um create file um config database.php so we'll go back to this uh, cake folder then we'll go open app open config and then this was actually the new database.php that um uh, created by cake so we'll open this in uh and in, in, in an editor and we can see this uh, all populated by the console so this is uh, cool right um that's it so we have actually baked uh, the cake php database uh, configuration so to make sure that this is working we'll go back to cake php and refresh this page and then we'll scroll down we can see that uh, the cake is able to connect to database so our database thing is perfectly working now this yellow thing over here your temp directory is not writable which means um we i need to provide the right permission um to my temp directory so how do i access my temp directory so my temp directory is actually in um it's in uh, yeah uh, it's inside uh, um inside a uh, ww directory which is inside war okay and then um, inside ww uh, this is my cake folder and inside my application i have this uh, temp directory okay so i just have to give the right permission so i'll go to my console and then i'll type in cd i mean no i'm not going to type in cd because i need to change the permission so if i wanted to change the folder then i would sh i should uh, have used a cd command but this time uh, what i have to do is have to change the f permission so i'm going to type in ch mode and then i'm going to type in minus r the reason for this i'll tell tell you soon and i'm going to give uh, 777 permission for this uh, or in fact i'll give 755 um and then after that what i'm going to give is uh, the path or the, or the folder to which i want to give this permission so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to type in uh, kick php or in fact i don't need this slash over here and then app and then uh, temp so what this basically means is um, i want to give 7755 permission to the stem directory not only to the stem directory but all the files that are also uh, are present inside this so that's why this minus r is all about so if i give something like this what happens is that um it will give it will recursively or uh, it will uh, recursively add 755 permission to all the files inside the stem directory so i'll hit enter okay so i'll go back to um, browser and refresh the page uh, okay it says your temp directory is still not writable so i think it's because i gave 7555 okay i'll give it as 777 uh, okay then um go back to my browser refresh the page yes my temp directory is writable now but then i have another two errors that is security salt i need to change the security salt and then again the cipher seed so i'll just go back uh, to my config uh, folder and there i can see core.php and then uh, <coughs> i'll open that in text editor and then i'll go down uh, okay and i can see something called security seed over here security salt over here this is actually a higher, um, alpha numeric key you can enter something over here i i i would highly suggest you recommend you to take um, the value uh, from something called uh, from a website called grc high def uh, high security password um you can give a google search for uh, 
GRC high security password okay and this is going to give you a um, site uh, this is the first one um, oh. <coughs> um, the site seems okay um, you can actually copy this and then uh, paste it over here rather than something you know just you know just for the uh, for the sake of security um, now once you have uh, used this uh, used a particular security salt and then you you uh, once you have your application start um, starts off and uh, you have a couple of users registered into your site then it's not a good idea to uh, change the security salt uh, the reason is because um, your password has been hashed with the security salt so uh, if you change this um, the next time the person and uh, even if he enters um, the correct password um, it has been hashed with a different security salt that will produce a different uh, value that is not present inside a database so people won't be able to log in so that's it um, so once you have done with the security salt you're not supposed to change it so keep in mind okay so I'll go back to my Firefox uh, and then refresh the page yep um, so that's it um, our installation for cake PHP 2.2.2 and WAMP is complete and uh, yeah that's it um, I'll stop this for the time being and uh, next tutorial we'll see how we'll bake things thank you